Right, hello everyone. Um, Doug's weather exercise this morning, and yeah, he's just trying to print some bones. No, come on, get down, they're frozen, get off. Um, thought he would give you a tour of my freezer, the contents of my freezer that I bought for the dog's food. Um, we've been on the raw diet now for uh, just gone seven weeks. Well, just into our seventh week. Damn. Um, and they're absolutely loving it, thriving off it. And I'll see you just out with me now because obviously the freezer's open and everything's out and I don't want both dogs coming in and trying to steal stuff. TJ's bad enough, so yeah. Um, T Tyson's just in bed chilling. Um, so TJ's going to be my little thing for today. Um, anyways, freezer. I bought this freezer the other day. It's fairly cheap and it works absolutely brilliantly. It's actually in my garage. Um, easy enough to store food and things. Four drawer. Which is handy for me. Um, now I did a haul. I worked out the other day that I was spending just under a hundred pounds every four to six weeks on dry dog food, treats, chews, and stuff like that. Um, which is actually it, it actually made me feel slightly sick to be honest with you that I was pumping my dogs full of that junk for that much money. Um, now I've worked out that I can spend. Around sixty pounds for nearly two months. Well, like one to two months worth of raw diet. Sixty pounds or under. So that's that's sort of the budget I've given myself. Um, coming out of it. Anyways, through the tour. In the bottom drawer, we've got the snake strips. I've got a corn snake, so we don't know. This drawer contains my prize pregnancies. Now I've got three meals worth of minces left which will take me into next week because I have mince like six times a week um, so yeah try to these these that cost me 960 for a box which lasts me a week in this drawer we put our bones now I did a massive haul of bones at Morrison's I got all our bones and pork ribs and I'm incredibly pleased with those. Incredibly pleased. Um, you have like the small lamb bones with like tripe or I think it's liver they have with it. And then the larger bones they just have by themselves. And you can see it's a really wants it. And so that's my bones. In this pile here which TJ has tried to eat. I've had. Now I've put them in like I do them in like blocks kind of things. Bags burst with my heart juice all over my hand. Um, and I've got eight weeks worth of heart here. You have heart once a week. So it just goes into those little things and I just time to get the song just in the middle of the freezer. So it's all that there. And then they have fish twice a week. They go through 30 sprats a week. And um, Tyson has 10 weeks a meal. So 20 a week and TJ has 5 with his meal. So I'm off fish there, right? Um, and I've got 4 weeks worth of scratch it I've got 3 weeks worth there. And then I've got another day's worth this week here in that bag. And stuff of scratch. Now here we have kidney. At the front here we've got ox kidney because this is what I picked up the other day. It was already diced. Um, so it was just strong. So that's uh, 2 weeks worth there. And then here we've got pig kidney, which is whole, and there's two in there, um, and they have one each. And there's another batch there. So there's four weeks worth of kidney there. All this offal, like all this stuff here, cost me less than £20. Yep. So you can see the difference it makes. And here we have liver. Now this stuff's bad. I really don't like this one of this stuff, so... Everybody says tripe smells bad, but no, I don't think it smells nearly enough as bad as this stuff does. But the dogs love it and they need to have it, so don't mind. Again, they're in like little packages, so one for Tyson, one for TJ. We've got one, two, three, four, five weeks worth here. And that's all of it together.
blood off my hand. Lovely. I was actually trying to get food out of the freezer last night, the bones and things, and oh my god, I nearly lost my fingertips. It's so cold. Um, now we've got the food out ready to defrost. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're on heart and tripe. Little bum blockage. I'm going to try and separate it out into two meals. Now we have a fair bit of heart left over, so two hard there. That's too fast now. I'll just leave it out even just to cross the line. That's over night. So yeah, I'm going to try and put all this stuff back in the freezer. It's going to work, I swear. Right. Thank you for watching everyone. And please, if you're interested in the raw feeding diet, then go to the Raw Feeding UK page on Facebook. Um, it's a brilliant site. I'm on there myself. And they've helped me a lot, and I have to say, I will never be going back to kibble feeding, ever. So yeah, thank you everyone, bye.